Hi everybody, Scrap Paddy here. I haven't done a video for a very long time and I thought it was about time I did. I've always wanted to do a sort of tutorial video on how to use software but I've never been able to manage it before because it always looked completely wrong, you know. It looked like you were standing between two mirrors and you were going off into infinity. I talked to a couple of my crafting friends and they told me that I needed software that captures the screen. So I've done that and now hopefully I'm going to show you um, a quick little tutorial on the new Craft Artist Professional 2 software. Now I own a Silhouette Cameo machine and I like cutting, you know. But I've always wanted to do my own sort of work but try to use Inkscape and just didn't get on with it at all. But now with the Craft Artist Professional 2, you can export as an SVG file, which I can take into my Cameo software and do cut files, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, this really is the quickest a tutorial that I think I will ever do. I use in the software as you can see I'm going to open a new project I'm just going to do A4 click OK and I'm just going to open up a DigiKit. This is quite a nice little one and I'm going to pick something that I want to cut. Let's have a look. Oh that's quite cute how to do that and I will enlarge it a bit bring it down now normally in graphic software you want to save something you have to go to your save as in craft artist 2 you don't do that if you want to use it in your cutting machines you need to go to your file you go to your drop down menu and click export and export it as a picture. Now it will bring up a new window. In this little drop down menu here there are lots of different options as to what type of file you want to save it as. I want to save it as a SVG file so I can use it in my machine. You then click export and we will call that, I don't know, let's call it Steam just for now spell okay and save it and that's it it's that simple now in the next video I will show you how to import that into your cameo software to be able to cut it feel free to leave a comment afterwards and I'll see you in the next video bye